Hi everyone, I'm Mark Boost, CEO of Sivo, and to, today I'm really excited to announce that Sivo is officially general availability. The Sivo has been uh, around now for about three or four years, and the first uh, year or so we were developing our technology. We then entered into a, a beta phase, uh, which lasted nearly two years. And we had amazing support from our community as part of that. Um, we had 5,000, over 5,000 beta users sign up for that beta program. And we had um, uh, tons and tons of amazing feedback from our beta users to actually help us shape that product in, in the early days. We then moved to a, what we called a, a early access period, which is in May, uh, earlier May this year. And I guess we really, we didn't want to rush straight into uh, general availability. We wanted to take that feedback that we had from the beta users, launch into this early access phase and then further perfect uh, the platform until we felt comfortable that we were ready for that general availability launch. Uh, so that's where we've got to today. So in our GA release, uh, we, you probably won't notice many new features but really it's all been recently about optimizing the platform for performance, um, improving our observability stack. So we're aware of any, any issue that might arise um, and ensuring we can fix that as quick as possible. And generally just optimizing the platform overall um, to make sure it's fully production ready for clients. But we have had many people using, um, or companies using the platform since our early release. And, and it's really given us confidence now that this is the right time to move to GA uh, with that with stability and, 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 um, and performance and everything that we that we require. And on top of that, last month, we, we launched a new region in Frankfurt, Germany. And I think that just adds to the, um, that we're a global, we're starting to become anyway, a global cloud company with three regions now. Um, and that just feels ready for our, for our GA release as well by having that extra region. region. So for the future of Sivo, we really want to focus on, or we are already focusing on reducing the complexity of Kubernetes. And we recently carried out a survey where we surveyed a thousand developers. And the biggest issue that came away from that was that 57% of developers found that Kubernetes was, was a really steep learning curve. And there's lots of Kubernetes you know, uh, service providers around, but in our opinion, most make it very complicated to use and get up and running quickly. So what we, we're doing at Sivo is really making a very simple but powerful um, Kubernetes offering that really is designed to um, help development teams be more productive by simplifying the, the developer experience. That will in turn help uh, developers develop things faster, such as products and features, which will then help companies improve their revenue because they're releasing products and features faster. So I think that's really important uh, to focus on. And I certainly think as an industry, we need to do better at, um, at reducing the complexity of, of Kubernetes and helping developers become more productive. And then separately for that as well, we believe that um, you know billing is an issue for, for many companies with very complex billing um, models, you know, certainly by hyperscalers and, and I think it's really important, especially for smaller companies and medium sized companies to have very transparent and um, predictable billing. And it's very hard to run a business if you have a moving target in what your cloud bills might be each month. So certainly for our future, we, w we want to really reduce the complexity around billing as well as the, the, the actual um, the Kubernetes part as well. We've got a, a number of new features coming on our roadmap and um, we're just finalizing our next sort of three months worth of work at the moment. And uh, obviously we've just launched the new, the new region that I mentioned earlier, which is great. And we've got an object storage product coming, a database as a service offering. We're redoing our load balancers uh, actual um, feature at the moment. So that, that'll be coming soon. And on top of that, we've we've entered a, a proof of concept phase for a GPU as a service product to help with machine learning. 
And lastly, a platform as a service offering will be coming um, in the next six months as well. We're, we're in the early stages of proof of concept team uh, that offering.